Welcome back. My name is Josh Kinney and in this tutorial we'll continue learning Git within Xcode. If you have not watched the last couple of videos, I can link those in the description for you. And you can go back and watch those. In this one we'll be going over Git diff, Git stash, and Git commit inside of Xcode. So let's go ahead and begin. So you can see I already have on branch one um, a couple of um, things I've added. So I added a button and a text and then I just recently added a button. So now this is going to stand out from what the other branches have. Um, and I can show you that by going up here to the source control and commit. So just like doing a git commit in um, your terminal, it's doing it here. And if I click on this content view, you can see I have this button that I added that wasn't there before. So to do a git commit right here, you would write your commit line so or your text and I would say added button to content view. And then you could go ahead and commit one file. You could also check mark this push to remote and it'll do the commit and the push all in one line. And then you can go ahead and hit commit and push. Okay, but I want to show you something before that because some people will have this basically they'll make a change on one branch and then they'll pull down another branch and it's, it's telling you, hey, um, you can't really do nothing because you have changes that you haven't done anything with. So you need to stash those first. And a lot of people get confused on that inside of GitHub or inside a terminal. You can easily do that by opening up terminal and type in and get stash on the branch that you want to stash your changes. So you need to make sure in this case, you would be, and I'm going to cancel this for right now, but you want to make sure you are on branch one in terminal. So you do a git status, make sure you're on branch one and then do a git stash and it would stash those changes. If you want to do it directly in Xcode, you would do it like this, this source control here, you have a stash changes option. So go ahead and do that. And you can you can put in a, a message if you want, uh, but you don't have to. I'm just saying getting rid of second button in content view. And then you want to hit stash. And now if you go back to source control and you go to commit, there's nothing now to commit. It's gone because you just basically you stashed them. Now you can go back in and grab those if you want. Um, everything you and you can see right here. Now you have a folder where you have your stash changes at. So you can go back into here, get your code that you deleted if you want, um, but you don't have to. So basically, it's just saving it in another directory in case you wanted to go back to it. You didn't lose it all the way. So you can copy that code, put it in your project, and push it up like normal. Okay, so that's what the git stash is. Um, the git commit, as you saw, that is just when you make a change to your file, you can commit that to your, you're not committing it to GitHub, you're committing it to inside of Git. So you're saying, you're giving it a message saying, hey, this is what was done with this change. Then with git push, you're actually taking it from GitHub and sending it, I'm sorry, you're taking it from Xcode and sending it to GitHub. So that is what you're doing with git commit. The last thing I want to show you is actually a git diff. So you're not seeing any git diffs inside of uh, Xcode, but you can still access that inside your terminal. So let me pull that up, drag that guy over. Uh, you can see I am not where I need to be. So I'll CD into learning git and now i'm here so we want to do a git diff let's check out since we know branch one has a lot of differences we'll do git diff and well first off i want to show you something um, if you don't know all the branches that are inside of this particular project you could do a git branch and find your project so it tells you hey you're on branch one and then you have these other branches too. I want to compare branch one because I know we have changes on there to the main. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So you want to do a git diff. And from there you want to do a branch 
one and then main. And then you'll see right here, so the red is what that branch one has versus what the main does not. So you can see, hey, you have this V stack you added, you have hello world padding with this button action, and then this other text inside the button saying get is wonderful. The only thing that the main has is that text hello world with some padding. So this little line here, and it drops it down below. That's the only thing that both of these have in common. The rest in, in red, the first one that we put in, which you can see I did a um, branch one first. So it's comparing that branch one to main. Okay, now I know, um, I believe it is, let's, let's see if I remember this. If branch, I think it's branch four has no differences. It's the same as main. So let's see if we compare those two. And you will see branch four diff learning. Wow, I need to change that color. Import and it's saying button print is wonderful, which is weird because inside of four, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I'm gonna go look at branch four. Oh, I did, so I, I was practicing this, so I did put that on branch four. So let's change that again. So let's do uh, branch three, because I know for sure nothing has been done with branch three and main, and it'll give you this same line. It won't show you any differences, uh, because there is no differences. So if you get that, you know that both of those branches are caught up, and there's no difference in between the two. So that is what get diff is. A lot of people get confused on how to use it, but it's literally, the, the get command with diff, because you're seeing the difference between, and then the branch you want to compare, and then the compared branch. That's, that's all it is. You can also, when you get a, a lot of commits in a branch, you can, commit, you can um, see the difference between the commits as well. And one last thing just to show you, you can do a git log. Uh, let me, let me um, see my status again. Make sure, yep, I'm on branch one. So let me do a git log. And it'll tell you the log of what you've, you've actually been doing and the actual commit. So it'll give you, this is the first commit, what you did in the beginning, and then this is the second commit. And if you think about it, I started a project and sent a commit up with the initial project, and then I added that button. Those are the only two commits I have. So I can, you could commit, or you'll see these two commits that you've pushed, um, but it'll show you all the commits in the logs, what you've done over time. And you can also grab this commit number, or all these characters, and, and compare the differences in the two of those. So that's pretty powerful with that git log as well, and I wanted to show you that too. All right, so that's gonna do it for this short video. I hope that was beneficial. I know when you're getting into Xcode and you're learning Git, um, some of these basic commands seem kind of confusing what they're really doing. So um, that should do it and that should help you. If this was beneficial, definitely leave a like. Leave a comment or a question if you have one or if you wanna see another video the coverage inside Git, I'll be happy to do it. And lastly, let me know what you thought of the video. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that bell button as that does uh, show you my upcoming content. And lastly, subscribe to the channel if you have not, as that always helps get my content out to others. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.